Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. I hope you all had a great weekend and a wonderful Easter. It was a great day. I got out there with Mr. Tells and went for a walk. I hope you got some exercise. Today's journal is, uh, I just found an old treasure map and blank. So you just found an old treasure map and you know that the X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. So tell me what you're going to do. So, uh, and don't forget to draw a picture. Today's story and all this week, we're going to listen to stories about dragons. So, today is one of two stories. There's a second part tomorrow. Today's story is called Dragons Love Tacos, and it was written by Adam Rubin and illustrated by Daniel Salmari. Hey kid, do you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do tra dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort spark. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? <laughs> Our art project today is gonna to be drawing this guy. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with sh charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of good friends' laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos, the best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? He's writing it on his calendar. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, Bury the sal spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. Now there's a, ton, a, a jar of salsa, but it says mild on it. So we'll see what happens. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy Wait a second, what are those tiny green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print. It says totally mild salsa, but in tiny print it says now with spicy jalapeno peppers. So that's not mild. Dragon, listen to me. Don't eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa. Those are jalapeno peppers. They are spicy, super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those taco tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. 
Too late. I guess that's what makes dragons breathe fire. Oh boy, the entire house burnt to the ground. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in for, for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. <laughs> Cute story about tacos and dragons. This afternoon, your art project is going to be drawing this guy. Um, maybe you want to add some tacos to the picture. Okay, boys and girls, uh, I want us to do a quick little antonym um, sentence writing activity today for um, our reading and our language. So antonyms are words that are the opposite. So we have new and old, huge, tiny, up, down, open, close. Those are the ones I want you to use. I'm going to show you what I want done with short, tall. So I want you to think of a sentence and use one of the antonyms, then write another sentence using the other antonym, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I wrote, the short man wore a hat. Now what I want you to do is I want you to make sure with your highlighter, you highlight your capital letter, your period, and I also want you to highlight the antonym in your sentence. Okay, so I used short, now I'm going to use the antonym tall. Okay, so my second sentence is, the tall man didn't wear a hat. So I'm going to check my capital letter, my period, and I'm going to highlight my antonym. So you're going to write eight sentences total. You're going to write a sentence for new, and then one for old, huge, and then tiny, up and down, open and close. And I want to make sure that you are using capital letters and periods on both your sentences and then highlight your antonym. All right. I will send um, the setup for your notebook um, so that your parents will understand what I want. All right. Have a great morning. And I will see everyone this afternoon for our first geometry lesson on a square. See you this afternoon. Bye.